let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream. You got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. minutes right here and then show the people how to cut that down to about five seconds um, the point I'm trying to make here is you're taking too long and you're adding way too much detail and just get your point across and boom done you have to kind of understand the declining attention span of most people on the internet um, they know they have a world of information out there and a world of things to learn, a world of things to watch and be entertained by or, or share or whatever they're doing. In the back of their minds are saying, oh my god, I'm missing so much. So if you're taking 20 minutes to get to your point, um, their minds are thinking, why am I wasting my time on this guy who, who just can't get his point across and it's just taking too long and giving me way too much information, way more information than I need. And what am I missing out there? I better go. Bye. And that's what happens. So before you take a video clip, or even before you start making a video, you have to ask yourself, what's the point of this? And how can I say it? How can I convey this message in as little time as possible? So if it's just not your gift that you don't have a whole lot of personality and a whole lot of charisma, you're going to have to keep their attention by just getting to the point. So if your point is uh, you spent most of your life as a machinist and you have your own machine shop, say it. And now, to keep their attention, now you're going to do a B-roll of your machine shop. That will keep them occupied. So your statement is, uh, I've been a machinist my whole life and I own my own machine shop and I've been quite successful. Boom, done, and now it's on to the photography and the video clips.
dots in their mind. So to help out their mind to build that image, um, you're going to show them. Alright, so now you have their attention. So it's all about the editing and keeping the viewer's interest, okay? They want to know about you, but they don't need to know every single little tiny detail about you. You have to go back and ask yourself why you're making this video. What's the point? For the sake of an argument, let's say that your whole entire point is if you work hard and if you find what you love to do, you can be a successful human being. Alright, now if they're still with you after the transition, after the intro, it means that you've gained their attention a little bit. Now you have to keep it. At age 25, I was stable enough to raise a family and get married and all this stuff. And with every little statement that you make like that, you need to show the viewer the video footage or pictures. Pictures of your wedding. Okay, pictures of your kids. So you're not just telling them and letting them imagine it's too much work for them to sit and imagine what your kids look like. So you're going to show them pictures and video clips, or video clips of you getting married and having kids. Okay, and boom, that statement is done. So now it's back to you narrating the video. And now you're going to make another point. So let's say... Your point is that your business became more and more successful once the local papers started writing about your business and now you're going to show them video clips of the articles in the papers. Okay, boom. Now it's back to narrating the video. So let's say your statement is my love for machine work has, has allowed me to have the good life and to own a big home in Kentucky and, you know, take vacations to Hawaii and enjoy a good life okay so all, with all that now all at once because you're getting to the point of your video now if you work hard and if you find what you love to do you can have a great life so it's pictures of the home in Kentucky or video clips of the home in Kentucky is better video clips are better and pictures allow too much the imagination and they don't capture everything you're trying to convey and there's a million things you can do here, and, and, and so now it's up to your creativity to convey the message um, that you stated, okay? So every kid who's ever thought about being a machinist on the internet is going to find your video. Suddenly you're getting views, uh, you're keeping their attention, and you're helping people decide if this is what they want to be. Or you're just um, showing other people what it's like just to be you. So now it's like, hey, let's take a break from this and just forget the whole entire purpose for taking this video and let's go have lunch. Or let's go sit on the porch and smoke a cigarette or have a drink and just uh, give everybody a break from this story and let what I said sink in. And this is how to get personal and up close. Nobody likes somebody that they can't get personal with. So you're going to use this opportunity as if they're a guest in your life. Believe it or not, it's the subtle imperfections that help people trust you. Don't try to make a big screen movie trying to be perfect. So like, if, if you're taking a viewer to lunch, you're taking a break from the story, and you're taking a viewer to lunch, and you're eating a burger, and you get ketchup, you know, spilling on your shirt. Now, some phony ass is going to try to, he's going to cut that out of his video, and, and the viewer's never going to see it. Then he's going to go get another shirt and uh, re reshoot the scene. You're gonna leave it in at the very fact that you're not perfect is what gets people to relate to you because no one is perfect.
I have to get gas, I have to pee, I have to get food. Very popular rock and roll. I have to grab something to eat. It's not to say that you have to get out of your head and into the viewer's head, it's that you have to stay in both of your heads. And that's the delicate balance of vlogging. It's not easy to do if it was, everybody be getting millions of subs now. But After the intimate personal video clips, you're going to be concluding the story and you're going to be leaving the viewer with that and some kind of video footage ending to the story where you can roll the credits and the music that you use there. This was shot in Kentucky Binary Hills or whatever the hell. Um, special thanks to my and Paul. So now they were entertained. You're reaching the end of your video and they're deciding if they like you or not and they're going to subscribe to you to hear more of your story. If you make your videos short, you're going to leave them wanting more. And this is, you know, it's, it's, you're not playing with the viewer. You're just not giving everything you have all in one video. Every video you make you should just give them a piece of your story. And just pick one tiny piece of your story that makes you, you, and make a video out of that. You can see, you can see your video as not even a chapter in your life, but as a paragraph in the chapter. The issue is if, if you give them the whole book in one long, one hour video, and you manage to keep your attention, which is nearly impossible, you're, you're giving them everything and there's no reason to subscribe to you or come back and watch your videos. To conclude it, wrap it up, add some great music. Maybe a time lapse of the sunset to convey that this day in this video is ending. And I'll see you tomorrow or next week or however often you're making videos. And boom, you got them. Trust me on this. Um, it does not pay to just wake up, turn the camera on, and see what comes out. You're going to find yourself straying not really knowing what you're saying, trying to, trying to figure out what you're saying in the editing process, and it's all going to add up to a bunch of garbage that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to the viewer. But that's, that's the way I used to make videos. I, you know, I tried to convince myself that it, you know, everyone's going to be interested in my life, so I'm just going to take them through every day of my life, and um, it doesn't work. So I would take all these average clips and these kind of boring, nonsensical things and with the pictures and with the videos I would try to make it exciting and balance it to where at least people would subscribe to me. It just doesn't work. You don't have to have step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a video or a vlog. Um, but the, you absolutely have to start with a plan and you have to stick with the plan and not stray from the plan. Your viewers want to be treated as if their time is valuable because it is. A so typical vlog post is going to be between 5 and 10 minutes and I know that sounds like a short amount of time to most people. But it all goes back to asking yourself, what are you trying to say and are you saying it? Casey or Felix could make a two hour video and their fan base would love every single second of it. Um, the reason I can't do that and you can't do that is really quite simple and it's uh, it's the basic fact that we're not Felix or Casey. Those guys spent years and years and years building the public trust and building their viewer base and proving that they have something to say and something to give that can literally change people's lives. You have not got to that point yet. The very fact that they're not making two hour videos, that their videos are are, are tiny is is the reason we go back the next day and see what else they have to say. And that makes it easier on the, not only does it make it easier on the viewer to do things like that, but it makes it way, way, way easier on, on the video maker, on you. you. You don't have to be up 10 hours every day in the middle of the night editing videos. I mean, that's totally, completely unnecessary. It's ridiculous to look at making videos like that. 
you're supposed to be enjoying this, not, not burning yourself out on it. I mean, if you're serious about this, then it's pretty much an everyday thing. So let's not be stupid about it. And you get to, you get to use your creativity and you get to say something and you get a chance at, at making the world a better place. Hey guys, listen man, this is just a reminder, um, in case you got sidetracked and forgot, subscribe to this channel, there's so much coming man. And including editing tricks, camera tricks, tech reviews, I mean, this goes on and on and on and on. Um, I have a lot to give, a lot to share, and I want you guys to succeed. I'm tired of seeing people thinking that they suck and they're no good at this equipment. <laughs>